So it's two months to the day that I planted my squash and pumpkin from seed out back here. And um, <laughs> as you can see, they've kind of grown out of control. So much so that I moved my barbecue around the side of the house and now I'm clearing this patch here. So um, they have room to spread. Um, so this one here, this is the Big Max pumpkin. <laughs> these are crazy. Look at the size of these leaves. My hand in comparison. Um, but you can see, I don't see any little, I guess these will all be little thingies come up here, but they'll flower first and then they'll grow the, the fruit, or the vegetable actually. Um, well, pumpkins of fruit or vegetable hinder, but, but there's the sign, <laughs> the little sign that was on the patch. <laughs> you can't even see it anymore, it's buried. Um, I kind of wish I had, uh, if there wasn't a window here, I could have trellised it, but I may put that trellis there because as they start, you see they got these cool little fingers that are coming out here that wrap around. So I'm thinking if as this grows, I guide it that way, that maybe it'll grow up the wall a little bit. Um, but these are crazy, aren't they? Um, and then next to the Big Macs is the Casper pumpkin, which is a white pumpkin. And we do have one that's showing up down there. Um, <laughs> it's like a jungle. Isn't that crazy? And then this last one here is the... Um, actually, that's still Casper pumpkins in there. And then this guy is the, um, I just had to cut him back a bit because he was intruding on my lavender here. But um, look at the size of that leaf. Um, this is Crookneck Squash. Let's see if we see anything yet. Nothing yet. But yeah, crazy. But yeah, so <laughs> I had, when I cut the grass the other day, I had to take that trellis and take this whole thing and lift it because it was going out into the yard. So <laughs> I didn't realize they would grow as good as they'd grow here because I thought it was kind of shady, but clearly the late afternoon they get tons of sun because look at this. It's just blazing out here. And look at look at the size of that leaf. <laughs> Crazy, but yeah. So and my little flowers, my these guys are growing in here. This is the jasmine and petunias, but I got some new Shasta daisies and they don't look very happy. I don't know why. But anyway, that's the garden. And oh, let's go say hi to the Brussels sprouts. There's Jakey. Hi, Jakey. In my little pool. But these are, Brussels sprouts are very interesting. The way they grow, the, um, they actually grow up against the stalks, those little dots that you see there. I don't know if you can see it because it's so bright out here. But these little things you're seeing right there in the little crease of each little, or as I say, the armpit. Those are all individual Brussels sprouts, so I'm going to have a ton of them. But they're a very slow-growing plant. But, uh, and then we've got some tomatoes over here. This is supposed to be black cherry tomato. <laughs> I think they had the wrong tag because, does that look like a cherry tomato? <laughs> it's freaking huge. And then this is some other variety. I'm not sure, some kind of hybrid supposed to grow like different colored ones or something so anyway and then my all my other stuff's kind of bolting I need to pull it out the lettuce the kale um, I did print some fresh lettuce so yeah I think I'm gonna rip these out and then plant some more and those are my snow peas and sugar peas which are kind of they seem to, those snow peas seem to be going real well but string trellis man if you want to grow peas like this. Um, the string trellis was like five bucks at Home Depot and it works great. And then uh, this was a flower bed but now it's just peppers and <laughs> it's the same sad little artichoke I planted months ago and it's just it's still alive but it's like stunted growth or something. But I don't know why my jalapeno looks so sad. I've, he's gotten water. He's gotten tons of sun. I don't know. He looks sad. I think I'm going to put some mulch around the bottom there. But anyway, there's my garden. Have a nice, happy summer. It's beautiful here.